Hey guys, it is the Burtonator here today, and I am here today with your Fifth Friday Fun Day. And for today, I am giving you a Burtonator special, the Hunger Games Workout, where I'm going to prepare you just in case someday this crazy world ends up going the Hunger Games direction in the future. You will be prepared to fight the good fight and win the Hunger Games. So, let's get started. Let's get prepping for this wonderful event. Okay, the first one, because in the Hunger Games, and I've not seen the movie yet, I've only read the book and I just read it this last weekend. In the Hunger Games, they're all running from each other at first. So, we're going to do football runs and then I'm going to say drop and you're either going to drop to the floor because somebody's thrown something at you or you're flying or somebody's flying over you or I'm going to say jump and that's when you're going to jump. So you're going to go one, two, three, drop or whatever and then jump. Okay, so are you ready to play this little game with me? So if you're jumping, that means somebody has fallen and died and you're just jumping over their body or whatever because you are going to be the winner in the workout. All right, here we go. Get ready. So remember, fast feet, stay low to the ground, and you're shuffling. Shuffle. Run a little faster. Come on. They're coming after you. And drop. And up. Good run. Jump. Get over it. Jump. Get over it. And drop. Up. Faster. Quick feet. You got to move. You got to move. Down. Jump. Go. Fast feet. Fast feet. Do you think we've lost them? And drop. And stay, stay. And good job. Okay. Moving on. That is a really good game to also play with your kids when they're a little, you know, tired. Okay. So do that as many times as you want. And now that we're out of the woods, we're staying low. Okay, you got it out of the cornucopia. You're now far away. And you are, um, you can choose your character. Okay, we're kind of doing all of their little specialties. Our next one that we're going to do, you're going to be in plank. And you're going to be crawling, so your knees are going outside to outside. So it looks like this. You're in plank. You can take me outside. Me outside. 20 times, so that's two, three, four. I gotta stay low, keep that core tight. And 20. All right. I think we're kind of safe. So we're going to move on. We're going to stand up. Okay, we're going to climb the tree. So you're going to grab your pair of weights. We're going to get up in that tree so we can see everything that's going on. So time to climb. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, woo, and 20. Good job. All right, now we're in the tree. It's time to work our bow and arrow. So how do we prep our bow and arrow? We take one weight straight up into the air. Other arm is going to go parallel to the floor. You're going to drop your back arm into a single arm tricep extension and you're going to bring your arm parallel to the floor straight back. Okay, so pull the arrow out, pull the band, let go, arrow out, band let go, that's three, you have ten. Whew. You are getting so strong today. One more. All right, time to switch arms. Other arm goes straight up. And the other arm goes parallel. Here we go. Grab the bow, grab the arrow, stretch the bow. One, two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, doing great, eight, nine, in 10, 
Jordan. Good job. All right. We're still in the tree. We have now shot our enemies, some of them. So now we have to drop down to the ground and get our food. And you don't know when people are coming up behind you. So we're going to do a 180 degree jump squat. To check, to check, to check. Are you ready? All right, so you're going to grab some food. And turn. Grab some food. And turn. Check. No one's there. Four. You have 20. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I'm going to do it this way. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Good job. All right. We got our food. Time to climb the tree again. Are you ready? Takes 20 to get up into that tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 18, and 20. All right. We're now safe and up in the tree. So while we're there, it's nighttime. We're just going to do some abs to work our core while we're sleeping. So we're going to do sit-ups. You have 15. One, two, three. Four, six, seven, eight, ten. Five more. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good job. <clears throat> All right, so this is the part where we're in the tree and we start to see flying birds. So we're going to do what I call a flying bird. So you're going to stand, you're going to have your weights, and you're going to raise them in front of you, palms down, take them out. Then you're going to rotate your palms so that they're facing forward and do give a chest fly. Do that. 20 times, that's two. So we're flying now. Nice and gracefully. We are the mocking jays. Woo! Eight. Nine. Ten. Did I say 20 or 15? 12. 13. 14. One more. And 15. Oh. Did you sing during that? I would have, but I don't sing. Okay, so we just saw the mocking jays. And then we continue to look down. And we see Fox Face, if that's her name. I know it's Fox something, Fox Girl. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to hop like she does over the mines when she's going to steal some food. So we're gonna be low on the balls of our feet, and you're just gonna hop, 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 hop. Oh, and then take it back, hop, 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 hop. Take it forward, hop, 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 hop. Take it back, one, two, three, four, forward. You're doing good, stay light, you don't wanna set up those mines. Good, stay nice and quiet. One, two, three, four. All right, nice job, woo! That's how we say, that's how we do the fox face. All right, now we're gonna be the boys. Girls do push-ups too, but I am sure the main thing the boys do to prepare for this, they just bust out push-ups all day long. So we're gonna do 10 push-ups, and then we're gonna go back to fox face. Are you ready? Here we go, 10 push-ups on your toes. And go. Nine and ten. Nice job. Okay, time to 
Box face it. Here we go. Light on your toes. Leaps really big. Have to just get ready to climb that tree again. Good job. Grab your weights. Climb the tree for 20. tree safe and sound. So this time we're going to do lower leg lifts while we're waiting it out in the tree. And you have 15. So it's one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, 14 and 15. Oh, time to hop out of the tree again. Look for your food. So it's the 180 degree jump squats. Here we go. Always watching your back in the Hunger Games. You never know what's coming after you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. 14, keep going, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, alright, here we go, we are at that tail end, it's between you and Kato, we gotta beat him, and you are, if he is stronger than you, you've got to. Go faster. So get your feet moving. Get them moving. And drop. Up. Drop. Up. Move those feet. Move them feet. He's coming fast. He's a little faster than I thought. Jump. 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 Feet. And drop. And he was killed. Woo. You have won the Hunger Games. How do you feel? Now, of course, that wasn't the real thing. It was just a simulation. But as you can tell, I'm slowly preparing myself for the real deal someday, just in case. And if not, it's always a fun whew, workout to pretend. So that was about 12 minutes. I'm sweaty. I'm breathing hard. It's all, I worked it all. Your shoulders should be burning. Your legs should be burning. He did some abs in there. Some nice work. <sighs> Happy Friday. Go out and have a fabulous weekend. And thank you for joining me in my Hunger Games workout. See you next week.